Hello you guys and welcome. Today we are going to be doing the Annie's Farmhouse Kit Club. I believe that's what it's called. This is a DIY subscription box that you get monthly. I chose the farmhouse version. There are a ton of different kits on their website. This video is not sponsored. My friend actually told me about this and I've really been enjoying it. Um, I did not do the December one yet because I ended up taking about a month off. Um, I will get into that in a later video and explain to you guys what has been going on over here and why I needed to take some time off. So we are gonna get into, I'm just gonna unbox the December. I don't think I'm gonna do that one because it's a Christmas one. And I will say it came kind of late. And so by the time it came, I was like, I'm not even in the mood to do any more Christmas crafts. I was like ready to be done. Like everything was decorated. I just didn't feel like doing any more Christmas crafts, but it is really cute. So I did peek. Um, but we'll get into that and I'll show you guys and then we will open up the January kit and we'll probably make that one because it's really cute and I want to put it on my front door. So my thoughts on this kit, um, I've gotten it for about three, four. This is my fourth. No, January is my fourth month. So the first time I got it, I got it for $10 because you get 50% off your first one. It's originally $19.99 or $20, whatever. And what I will say, I have yet to decide if it's really worth it because after you factor out shipping, they charge you like six bucks for shipping, and then the taxes, it comes out to about $28. So I haven't decided yet if all the products that they give you are worth that $28, because I'm sure you could buy some of these products from the dollar store for a lot cheaper, but it is very convenient that they ship everything to you. You get your paints, your brushes, literally everything you will need for the project. So I do really like the convenience factor, but I'm still trying to figure out if the value is worth it. Let's get into the December one. It comes in this like white bag. Before, I feel like my first bag came in like a really cute bag. Um, not that it matters, it gets thrown away anyways, but yeah, so it's just this white bag. And then it's gonna give you an invoice in here, and then it's always like closed up like this, and it's got everything in here that you will need for your project, and then it will show you a picture. Hi, Charlie. Then it'll show you a picture right here of what it is. So today we are actually, well, we're not gonna be making it today, but this December Kit Club is wood slice Christmas ornaments and they are so cute. I would have loved to have put these on my tree, but like I said, I was a little lazy and I just didn't feel like doing any more Christmas crafts. So when you open it up, and this, so this little, thing right here, this is gonna have all of your directions in it. So it's gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. It's gonna tell you what is in your kit and then it's gonna tell you what you'll also need. So it's just stuff that I'm sure you already have in your house, paper plates, tape, pen, eraser, scissors, ruler, scrap paper, wax or parchment paper, cup of water and paper towels. And then it'll give you some helpful hints. And then yeah, it takes you step by step on how to make it and it's just so quick and convenient. So the first thing in here, this is going to be like, so yeah, these will go on the actual wood pieces. And then here's the wood pieces. They're all wrapped up. These are really nice. And then, oh, it even came with, this is sandpaper. Cool. And then these little acrylic paint markers. Oh my goodness. How convenient is this? Paint markers. You don't even have to get dirty. You don't even have to dirty a paintbrush. It also comes with this really nice brush and then some white and black paint. And if you guys recall my first unboxing, uh, I don't know what happened. It might have been the weather here because it was probably 100 degrees when I got that box. Uh, but my white paint <laughs> was everywhere. It like exploded and yeah, I was still able to use it, but that was quite a mess. And then it also came with some twine as well. That is what you get in the December box. I'm highly doubt you could order this one if you want. I don't know how that works. If you were interested in a previous box, I'm not entirely sure, but I just wanted to show you guys like what they sent out for December and we are going to get into the January box now. This one, I already took it out of the white bag. It's the same, same concept here. And this one, we are gonna be making a welcome door tag. So this is what it's gonna look like. It's very simple, but it's really cute and I wanna put it on my door. 
So let's open it up and see what you get. All right, so I always just like to pull this out first and just to kind of see like what extra supplies I'm gonna need. And it doesn't look like you're gonna need much more. Waxed or parchment paper, paper towels, water, hot glue gun, and hot glue sticks. When you open it up, it's got this nice, like, it's, you know, just a nice little, you know what I will say? I don't wanna be like, okay, you could totally buy this at the Dollar Tree. Like, I'm sure they have something like this size and you could totally like make it over. I'm just saying, like, I love this concept, but you could probably make it a lot cheaper. So it comes with this. And then this is the little welcome sign. And I'm not entirely sure, not exactly sure how that goes on there. And then some more sandpaper. What do you need sandpaper for? Sandpaper, you have a little brush and some string. I'm assuming that's how I'm assuming this string is how you will tie it. Uh, and then I don't know what that little black thing is in there. Oh, a squeegee. So I'm assuming that's how you will apply the little welcome part. Greenery, which will be, it's like a little wreath. You could totally find something at the Dollar Tree, I'm pretty sure. Some more paint. Uh, I'm not sure what, are these black? I think the little, that one's a white and then those two are black, I'm assuming. All right, well, this is what all came in it. So let's get into making it and see how it turns out. All right, so the first thing it tells us to do is lightly sand the tag, obviously just the side that you're gonna be painting, um, and then use a damp paper towel to wipe it down. And it does say to paint both sides, but I definitely just did the one side that I'm gonna be using and I figured I'm not gonna, you're not really not gonna see the other side. So then it says to open up the black paint and I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze it onto this parchment paper and then you're just going to paint the entire tag. I Like I said, I just did the sides and then the front, I left the back blank. Now, you guys, I am so incredibly bummed. I don't know what I did, but for some reason, I was not recording when I did this part. This was the coolest part. This was the silk screen part. So what I did was I peeled off that sticker and I put it down. And what you do is you take white paint and you just kind of put paint all over the letters. And then you use the little squeegee to kind of scrape the excess paint off. And then when you peel off the tape, you're left with this beautiful welcome sign. I am so bummed. I even checked it. Like I thought that I was recording and for some reason I wasn't. So I am so sorry that I wasn't able to show that to you guys. Next I'm taking the rope that they gave us and it says to kind of fold it in half and stick the middle part through the hole. And then you're just gonna kind of bring those two pieces through the loop just to kind of make it look like a gift tag and the directions are really good, but like this one took me a minute to figure out what I was doing. And then once you get that in there really tight, you can go ahead and just make a knot on the top. And then this is going to be where you hang it. And next you're just gonna take that cute little wreath and I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and just glue it down. I wanted to pick a side, like. Well, they both were pretty much the same, but I was trying to pick the fluffier side. Um, but once you get it glued down, you can totally like move the leaves around and just kind of get them to how you want them. So just glue that down and then that is it for this project. I think it turned out so cute. Like I said, I'm so sorry you guys weren't able to see the silk screen part. That was the coolest part and I was so nervous about it too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will see you all soon. Bye. Bye.